Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Hooking Jazza. <laughs> Gents, check at that. Check that power. Yeah, chat. That is some safe. Yeah, hoo -hoo. <laughs> yeah guys, this is a bit of a, a three-part video. Um, three parts because there are three different species of fish at three different locations. So the first two will be right here in lovely old Port Alfred. And then um, the last location was in Port Elizabeth. Um, so you'll find the first location in a place called Kasuga. It's just south of Port Alfred. And over there we got some blues or bronze bream, um, which was quite fun. That'll just be a little little short short video, short piece. And after that, we took a long walk up West Beach here in, in Port Alfred. Um, and over there, we got quite a surprise while scratching for for your your general reef fish. Um, yeah, got a, a nice little bully on the line, nice little cobby um, that fought really, really nicely. I actually thought it might have been a punsi or cracker right in the beginning until the those strong, powerful head knocks came through. And then, yeah, we're on to a cob. And then, yeah, lastly, we're in Port Elizabeth, and over there we hit a spot called The Wreck, where shad are known to come out, big two, three, four kilo shad are known to come out, um, and we hit some shad there. Um, yeah, then unfortunately something disastrously happened over there. Um, yeah, just thinking back now, it was actually, yeah, it was a bad memory. It's a bad memory. Well, good bad memory bad because of the reason you'll see at the end of this video and good because I'm safe, I'm alive and well um, and that's all that actually matters. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and like it, see Oh we just got a lacquer, lacquer stompy on the line there. Oh <laughs> So this guy is, yeah, literally 30 on the dot. So you'll be suffering. It's a little punzi. Yeah. Baby punzi, guys. Just gonna put him back quickly. Luckily, he didn't swallow the hook. But yeah, tap, that's a little punzi. Put him back real quick. This guy is a baby, baby, baby. Guys, we actually found this golden stripe here on our walk here. It washed up somehow. Um, might have been ill or 
just died in, in the big sea. Um, sea hasn't been that big though, so I'm not sure why. But I'm just gonna try quickly for a, for a punsi. Just see if we can't get a, a quick punsi here before dark, before we leave. So, yeah, we'll see, see how it goes. Yeah, he's on. Yo, feel my line chasing. Look at that. Check that power. Yeah, it's coming. We'll try pulling with this wave now. Yeah, -hoo -hoo. Yes, boys! Yeah. Nice! <laughs> We're having a little fish out at the wreck, as they call it the anchor, you can see the anchor down there. Um, yeah, our tide's a little bit high, we prefer if you get on those rocks there, um, but we're just fishing here so long. Checking if the fish haven't come quite close to hugging the rocks while the tide is high like this. But uh, yeah, so far, no bumps, no, uh, haven't seen anybody bringing fish. Oh, there's, there's something. Oh, we're on a shad, boys. Really? Let's go. Nice. Okay, so as I'm speaking, gents, we are on our first shad. Let's go. Nice, man. Yeah, boys, quite a nice one. There's the camera. There you can see it splashing in the water. Yeah, it comes, boys. Nice, nice. Lacquer, well done, man. I put the camera on as well. I said, hey, let's check him out. No, that's a better one, yeah. Glad to see these guys coming out now. Hey, guys. On a small guy, it's 
Let's go. Yes, chaps. This was as I landed. There's the flapping. See if we can bring him in, yeah? There we go. There he comes, in. Small guy. But yeah. The fish have been biting as you land here, so. Yo. So I've been keeping the camera on. Woo! Getting wet too. See ya. Let's see if that, uh, that story holds true now. There we go. There's it. On. Ah, uh, he's on. Ah, uh, he's on. Yes, chaps. Be careful, these guys love to swim you in. This is now really a small one. But, uh, Ah, no. He's off. He's off, off. Let's try again. Let's try again. Center this hook a little bit. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see. What can bring out here? Yeah? Yes, the chaps. Fish are wild. On, boys. Oh, yes. Let's go. Yeah. Nah, man. Came off. Ah, I saw there. Yeah, not for that rock, man. So chaps, what a what a lack of morning out here at the wreck. Um, just hitting a few shad. Nothing big though, nobody's caught any of the three, four kilo shad that are known to come out here. Um, but yeah, I want to have a bit of fun, so I'm just gonna get a spoon quickly out my bag. Um, and then yeah, we'll see if we can, can hit anything with the spoon, that'll be awesome. Lekker. Woo! Yes, Jeff. Getting nailed by the water here. On that. Yeah. <laughs> On boys. Oh no. Missed it. 
on that. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Let's go. Zaratia in front. Oh, came off. Way too fun. On that. Eww. Let's go. He's a clanky. I saw him on top of the water now. Let's see if we can bring him out. You chaps. Ah, oh, he's taking me around the wrong rocks there. Oh. Jeez, gents. Flex him. Gamish. Good girl. Come, baby. Ah, guys, so, so at the end there, my, my spoon got stuck in the rock in front. Uh, I was bringing in a shad and it came off anyway. And then my spoon got stuck on the rock in front and I just knew I, knew I shouldn't go and fetch it, but I did and I got swept off the rocks. Um, and yeah, uh, actually I ended up losing my rod, so going home with, with a few shad and no rod, um, so definitely not a, a good sacrifice. Um, I love that rod, that was my, my Loomis 11 foot, the Archipelago, um, and my reel as well, luckily not, not my pin battle, but it's an old Saragosa so that, that my fiance was actually using. Um, yeah, so actually quite bleak, but uh, can't let it get me down. I've got my life. My life is more important than um, than my rod or my reel at any stage. So I had to let go of the rod and swim um, to the rocks behind me. And uh, in my other hand was this camera that I'm holding now. Um, because it fell off my head as well along with my, my beanie um, so yeah ended up catching that um, catching my camera swam to the rocks with my camera and these boots on which is not easy um, and then yeah guys uh, so yeah ended up losing the rod I saw it dip up it came up um, because I, I went swimming for it after because it, it fell like in a dip and that that little hole is about as, as deep as I am um, and I swam for it under but the period is too much um, it's too high so I kept getting crashed by rocks um, but I kept getting crashed by waves so yeah I couldn't get it um, I didn't feel it either and then when it came up got swept away I looked everywhere for it but couldn't find it so yeah guys now it's on to choosing a new rod um, but it was an awesome morning uh, yeah awesome catching fish out in PE again um, really wanted to go try for some Khalyun and some Kraken now but obviously that's not gonna happen I only brought the one rod and I've, yeah don't even really feel like fishing anymore now but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, we'll be back soon. Like <laughs> Misha, sit. Give four. Give four. Good girl, good girl. Say bye bye.